Welcome, welcome back to my little film and TV channel on one of our regulars and we have a guest publication to have a look at what's on Freeview UK, UK TV this week and I've expanded it just a little bit this week because of the layout of this magazine. It made it a lot easier to find out other things on some other three channels as well. So it won't be just the main channels plus BBC, it'll be, uh, be other, other, other odd bits and pieces as well, which is what we need because with the uh, Commonwealth Games still on, the BBC isn't supplying too much, so we've had to go on to other channels. So... Guest publication this week at TV Choice. I say nicely laid out, nice and cheap as well. So about two pound fifty cheaper or two pound sixty cheaper than the radio times. That's for sure. So uh, you know when things are tight, these post COVID days and <laughs> everything's going up. But sometimes you perhaps uh, have to go a little bit less than the radio times. It's uh, a worthy organ, but quite expensive. So let's have a look through TV Choice and what I've picked out. As I said, some little snippets of different ones as well. So we're looking, of course. That's Saturday, the, uh, what date are we on? It's all right, I'm finding this. I got it from Saturday the 30th of July till Friday the 5th of August. Uh, Saturday, you've got, don't forget to watch the football, guys. I'll, I'll be there. I'm at Leicester watching my beloved Manchester City play in the Community Shield against Liverpool. So that's on ITV at 4.15pm on Saturday night. So don't forget to watch my boys, my, my boys in blue. And I'll be there. You might be able to see me. Keep looking at the crowd. I'll give you a wave. I'll, I'll wave uh, on, on the... Uh, while I'm in the stand, and uh, as long as we're not crying at the end of it, we'll be fine. Right, uh, yeah, Saturday, just one thing, really. Uh, on Saturday on the main five channels, and we'll say there will be bits and pieces. Uh, Channel 5, 8 o'clock, if you like a bit of Tommy Cooper. You should, well, I still love Tommy Cooper. I mean, he's not been with us for a long time. But we've got at 8 o'clock, Channel 5, 30 funniest moments. A look at those most memorable events from the comedian's career, including selection of his funniest routines, and most ridiculous one-liners. So even though I've probably seen most of them, uh, I'll enjoy that thoroughly. And on to, same with Saturday, uh, we're going to look at Quest. Yes, on to Quest, there you go. Uh, the men who sold the World Cup. So if you've not had too much of football, put it this way, if we get beat on Saturday, I won't be watching this, I'll have to wait a few days, we'll recover. Uh, 10 o'clock, uh, the men who sold the World Cup. This is one of six alleged corruption at the heart of FIFA. Alleged? I suppose we have to say alleged, don't we? But we know it goes on. On to Sunday. Sunday the 31st of July. Uh, yes, Channel 4, 9 o'clock, War and Justice, the case of Marine A. The story of Alexander Blackman, a British soldier convicted of manslaughter after shooting an unarmed and wounded Taliban insurgent in 2011, featuring recently recovered combat footage and the interviews with Blackman and the judge who originally sentenced him to imprisonment before his murder conviction was overturned. This details one of the most controversial events in the 20-year war on terror. Nine o'clock, Channel 4. On to Channel 5, 5.45pm. Yeah, uh, we're flying off to Greece in September, so about 39 days from when I'm recording this. Uh, Britain's Airport Hell, so if you want to watch that on Channel 5, I don't think I'll be bothering. Just, just fingers crossed for when we go. Uh, and there's another one, actually, further in the week. Uh, a one-off documentary looking at travel problems faced by holiday makers and there's, a, there's another similar program to come later uh, dave go over to dave here you go dave channel six o'clock on sunday the 31st of july uh, extreme heights repair team this is one of six the risky work of rope access technicians there you go that's the team to place Targets on one of America's tallest dams. Place tag. What are they doing? Fire. What is it? Dam busters. <laughs> Perhaps it's in. Uh, well, that sounds pretty good on Dave. And over to more four. Yeah, more four. Eight o'clock. Cleaning Britain's greatest treasures. So it's all about cleaning and doing other things. This one, isn't it? One of two. A look at the work of conservation cleaners looking after national treasures. So, do they mean actors or uh, <laughs> do they mean other things? Yeah, I think we know what they mean. On to Monday, the 1st of August. A new month. We're into August. Soon be Christmas, guys. BBC Two, nine o'clock. Inside the factory, XL trains. Yes, Greg Wallace visits the eighty-four acre Alston factory. Yes, I, I spent a few years. I worked at GEC, and we used to uh, one of our parent, uh, sister companies was GEC Alston, of course, which uh, looks after the train side of things. And we did switch gear, which obviously is all to do with trains and mines and stuff like that. So. Yeah, interesting. I might watch it. It's not the sort of thing I'd normally watch. Greg Wallace visits the 84-acre Alston factory in Derby, site in Derby to learn about the construction of an 187-tonne five-carriage electric train. Meanwhile, Cherry Healy heads to the UK's last remaining factory that produces 
aluminium biosmelting. There you go. So yeah, interesting. Sort of thing I'm not watched, but I must admit, it's sort of thing I might be interested in. I'll have to try and remember to record that one. Channel 4, 8 o'clock, dispatches. This is the other airport thing I was talking about. Airport chaos undercover, oh dear. Jane Moore reports from behind the scenes at one of Britain's busiest airports meeting travellers whose holidays have been ruined by cancellations, baggage chaos and delays as experts discuss the causes. We'll just get bloody sorted out before I go. Channel 5, busy night. Channel 5, 6 o'clock, back after I think it's 10-year break. Cash in the attic, helping people make money from the items they've accumulated over the years. And we've got Chris Kamara. Yeah, he's retired from his old football job. I hope he's a bit more a bit more uh, in, you know, focused uh, in this one. Uh, and expert appraiser Paul Paul Hayes visit Ian and his steps on Bradley and Leamington Spa to have a nose about their inherited home. Nothing like having a good nose. Is there. Eight o'clock, Susan Calman. Not one of my favourite people. Uh, Grand Week by the Sea. She's on every night, guys. So if you like Susan, no offence, Susan. I, I, just, I just don't. I just never really appealed to me when I watched her. I've tried. I've done my best. Uh, but anyway, one of five, Skegness. Susan visits more seaside resorts around the UK, beginning in Skeggy, where she meets up with Debbie McGee. <laughs> Lovely Debbie McGee. 10 o'clock. Yeah, interesting. This is a pilot for a series called La Bray, a sci-fi mystery starring Natalie Zia and Eon Macken. A huge sinkhole mysteriously opens up in LA, sucking in people, vehicles and buildings, leaving part of a family separated in a strange primeval world alongside a desperate group of strangers. The rest of this series is available on Paramount Plus from today. So I presume it's on weekly on Channel 5 as well, guys. I mean, you have to go over to Paramount Plus to watch it all. We'll, uh, we'll have to keep my eye out for that one anyway. That's Le Bray. E4 on Monday, 8 o'clock, Below Deck. So if you like your Below Deck, it's not something I've watched, but I know a few people who say it's really good. There's no place like home. Captain Lee returns to the Caribbean aboard my Sienna with a new crew. So if you like Below Deck. On to Tuesday, the 2nd of August, 9 o'clock, ITV. Caught on camera, unbelievable moments. Selection of extraordinary eyewitness footage shots by members of the public who just happen to be in the right place at the right time to record jaw-dropping moments. And the only thing I've got against that, I can't say if this is the same, is when they show the same thing time and time again from... Even the same footage, you don't have to be different angles. And I get, you know, so you've got like an hour program and it could have been done in 20 minutes. So my only fault with something like that. But, you know, I've not watched it. It might not be like that. But let me know. Let me know if you watch it. Channel 4, 8 o'clock, worst house on the street. We've got a few on ours. Uh, brother and sister property developers Stuart and Scarlett Douglas use their creative expertise to help families transform rundown residences into dream dwellings. Well, ours is already a dream for that dream dwelling so we don't need their help 10 o'clock channel 4 vicky pattison still chooses the 2nd of august alcohol dad and me yeah as she reaches the same age that her dad's addiction took cold reality star vicky confronts her complicated relationship with alcohol and reveals some troubling family secrets yeah i'm not too sure who she is i don't watch a lot of reality stuff vicky pattison uh, same with tuesday the 2nd of august bbc4 yeah bbc4 nine o'clock Ardle O'Hanlon, father, far, 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 yes, um, yeah, you know who, you know who he is. You've seen that the picture will be up there somewhere anyway. Tomb Raider, Ardle explores a 1930s archaeological quest to find the first Irish men and women, answering the deepest questions about what it means to be Irish. Well, just go in the nearest pub, you find, you're bound to find a few, mate, so you don't, you don't need to waste a programme on it, do they? But, uh, yeah, I'm only playing. That looks good. Looks fine. On to Thursday the 4th of august we've got something on here because i've got it thing but it's not the main channels yeah quest red there you go this is mainly apparently aimed at the female audiences guys i've never watched quest red myself a three view channel uh nine o'clock crime scene confidential one of 18 so a lot of these are on my search for k kaylee anthony so you, know, you remember the kaylee Ant anthony incident but that's it thursday nothing on the wednesday guys did you notice i jumped from straight from tuesday to thursday even though we've got all these channels i couldn't find anything on the wednesday my apologies on to friday the 5th of august last day of we're looking at some mothers do have them, a comedy classic yes as its peak around half the uk population was watching the antics of france spencer and his family this documentary reveals the behind the scenes stories of how 1976 
sitcom some mothers do have them was made so i will be trying to record that one and to finish off friday the 5th of august we're going over to more four again a new series the bane family murders drowned about five members of a family found dead in their suburban dunedin home in 1994 so we'll finish off the week with a bit of grittiness and the one i was interested in is the bray thing i think uh, obviously uh, I like Ardell O'Hanlon anyway. He, make, he makes me laugh anyway, so I might watch that. But um, obviously, uh, below deck, I know a lot of people will be looking forward to that. Yeah, so Le Bray Channel 5 on Monday, the 1st of August. It's the particular thing I am looking forward to as well, inside the Factory XL, GC Alstom. That would be good. Just it might bring back some memories. Uh, it's now, um, what is it? I think, I think it's still there. It's in Openshaw. Uh, you, I used to work at GC Switchgear in Trafford Park, but obviously GC Alston was in Openshaw. I think there's a, still a little factory there now, although it's I think it's been turned into a, a housing estate roundabout there. I'm not too sure. You might know if you live anywhere near Openshaw, but uh, I, I will be there quite soon. I'll be there next week, actually, so I'll probably pass it, so, so I'll know better because I'll be going down to uh, see the old city ground again for the new season to get the coach to away trips anyway that's by the by hope you enjoyed that let me know anything you, you're looking forward to my thanks to tv choice of course for this week's stuff and i hope you didn't mind the little addition of other channels as i said it was a bit easier in this magazine to find the new stuff sometimes it's not like the radio times and tv times it's a bit hidden and to find things so i thought i'd do it and if you like that let me know just leave us your comments anything to do with film and tv or Yes, Bernie, that was much better going over to Dave and more fun and Quest Red and stuff like that. Just 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 let me know if you liked it anyway. Let me know if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching guys, please. Until we meet again, please stay safe. Bye for now. <laughs>